it's more than just a day trip. It is truly a whiskey lover's pilgrimage. The Jack Daniel Distillery is our next Music City must. So we are here, let's go check it out. Hey there, Emily. Hello. I'm Emily Sledge. I'm the Visitor Center Operations Manager here at the Jack Daniel Distillery in Lynchburg, Tennessee. How are you? Oh, I'm pumped. I'm super excited to be here, and you're going to take us on a tour. Yes, we sure are. You ready to get started? I'm ready to go. All right. We are the first registered distillery in the United States. So, of course, being in Tennessee, if you're coming to visit, you have to come visit Jack Daniels. And when people think of Tennessee, they think of three things, right? Dolly, Elvis, and Jack. So we're just going to follow this group on down to the Rick Yard. Max, as you can see, there is some action going on behind us. Basically, what we're doing here is we are making our charcoal for our charcoal mellowing process. And why that is so important to us is that's what differentiates us from a bourbon. And then once it goes through the charcoal grinder, it's gonna come out, it's gonna be about pea size because we want every drop of that jack to go through tightly packed charcoal. And down at the end of that hill, that's Jack's original office, isn't it? Yes, it is. It has been here since Jack came to the hollow. We try to keep it as original as possible, and we want to stay true to Jack's roots. There is somewhat of a folklore surrounding this safe, isn't there? Yes, there definitely is. So this safe is actually what killed Jack Daniel. Um, and so one morning, he came in early, which was not usual for Jack. He couldn't get into the safe. We've all been there, right? You forget your password, can't get in, you get frustrated. Um, he hauled off and he kicked the safe. He broke his big toe, which then of course gangrene set in, and they ended up amputating all the way up to his hip. And in 1911, he did pass away from complications of kicking this very safe. Before Jack Daniel was this master distiller we know him as, he was just a boy with a pretty interesting childhood. Yes, he, he sure was. Um, so Jack left home at a very early age. Um, he was the youngest of 10 children. Um, and he actually went to go live on the Dan Call farm. Now Dan Call was a Lutheran minister who had a farm, a general store, and a whiskey still. So young Jack took a very keen interest in this whiskey still. And of course, this was in the days prior to emancipation. And so that whiskey still was under the careful watch of an enslaved man named Nathan Nearest Green. And so of course, Jack and Nearest, they worked side by side and Nearest taught everything that Jack knew about his lifelong passion. So of course, behind us, we've got the cave spring here. Um, every drop of Jack Daniels that um, is distributed throughout the world came from this very cave spring. We have made it to the best part of the tour. This is the end, and now we get to sample some of these whiskeys. Yes, we sure do. So what we have in front of us is what you are going to sample if you take our Flight of Jack tour. So I am by no means a professional whiskey taster. I am a professional whiskey lover, though. What do I need to know about tasting? Okay, well, don't worry. We're, we're going to teach you everything that you need to know. So, of course, you've already done step one. Pick up your sample. Yes. Um, and then we're going to let you nose it. So you're going to want to part your lips just slightly and then, you know, put your nose down in the glass a little bit. And then the next step is just going to be to take your first little sip. Cheers. Cheers. And while you're here, swing by the town square, home to the Lynchburg Hardware and General Store, where you can find anything and everything Jack Daniels. So after a long day at the Jack Daniels Distillery, tasting whiskey and enjoying the whole experience, you probably worked up an appetite. So let's go into Miss Mary Bobo's for some great Southern home cooking. Hello, Laura. Hey, Max. Tell me a little bit about Miss Mary Bobo's. Well, Miss Mary Bobo's has been a Lynchburg institution for more than 100 years. We know a little bit about some good, fine Southern cooking and a whole lot about giving you a good time. After a long day of seeing all the awesome things that Lynchburg has to offer, I'm ready to eat some of this, Laura. Yeah, we're going to need to stop talking now because I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why this is a Music City must.